WCYB Cybercrime Radio. My name is Zach Hack. This is Cybercrime News. Here's what's happening. Fox News reports AirTags, an Apple product released in April of 2021, are making headlines recently for another reason. Police departments across the country are warning their communities that criminal suspects may be using the devices to track other people or their vehicles in a trend dubbed as AirTag stalking. A dangerous remote code execution exploit found in Dark Souls 3 could let a bad actor take control of your computer, according to a story in The Verge. The vulnerability only puts PC gamers who play online at risk and may potentially affect Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, and the upcoming Elden Ring. Servers for various Dark Souls games have since been shut down in response. From Cointelegraph, hackers attacked a number of popular crypto YouTuber accounts at some point during the afternoon of January 23rd. The accounts posted unauthorized videos with text directing viewers to send money to the hacker's wallet. One user suggested it appears the hackers were able to gain access to the accounts using a SIM swap scam, which would have enabled them to bypass two-factor authentication. Another user disagreed. Cointelegraph reached out to YouTube but have not received any additional information. Silicon Valley company Plaid recently settled a class action suit against it of collecting excessive data from users, according to Fast Company. As a result, it will pay $58 million to consumers who have linked a bank account to any of Plaid's 5,500-plus client apps, which include popular services like American Express, Venmo, Robinhood, Coinbase, and Betterment. Plaid, a middleman connecting bank accounts to other fintech services, says it's been used by tens of millions in North America. A New Jersey court ruled in favor of Merck in a lawsuit that the pharmaceutical company filed against its insurer, which declined to cover the losses caused by the NotPetya ransomware attack, according to the record. The NotPetya incident, which took place in June of 2017, destroyed data on more than 40,000 Merck computers and caused an estimated damage of $1.4 billion. At the time, Merck had a $1.75 billion all-risk insurance policy, but Ace American refused to cover the losses, citing the NotPetya attack was part of Russian hostilities against Ukraine and was subject to the standard acts of war exclusion clause that is present in most insurance contracts. KTVB7 in Idaho reports a ransomware attack against Valley Regional Transit in October of 2021, and it may have compromised personal information of 535 of the transit agency's employees, contractors, and consumers. VRT, which operates public transport in Ada and Canyon Counties in Idaho, upon learning of the attack, immediately began working with cybersecurity experts to investigate and help VRT contain the threat and secure its systems. Cyber criminals had accessed VRT's computer network and removed some data before deploying the ransomware. That's what's happening. My name is Zach Hack. This is Cybercrime Radio.